I have readjusted your calendar on um, Canvas. So the Hunting the Elements, if you weren't there, is there. The first worksheet's there. I'm still trying to find the second or get the second worksheet loaded up so that you can have it there. So um, if you haven't got them, I did put them over in the general chem box and you can go and um, Hunting the Elements is up online and you can watch it and turn that in. Um, we're going to do the dry battery lab like I had planned on doing last week when I wasn't here. We're going to walk through that. Next time we'll do what I call a wet battery lab, which is more of an investigative lab. And you really don't get any procedure. I'm just going to tell you what to do and you have to write up what you find. Okay, we're going to try different metals and different things and how they, how they work. Then I've put two days of review since we, this unit has really been stretched over a long period of time. I want to take one day, the first day, and review nuclear with you. Second day, review electrochem with you. So you'll sort of know what's going to be on the test. And then the test is um, the, these, that's the wrong date. I think that's supposed to be the 13th. Anyway, it's um, Thursday of the week of the, six, um, I think it is the 16th. Nope, 17th. So this should be the 17th down at the bottom, and this should be the, fifth, the 15th, which it is. So, and then the last, that will leave us Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and one more day after that. We have four days left after that of the year. And we'll be doing different things as long as you come and participate and do um, things in class. You'll get the points, and it'll be good. Okay, so that'll be our last big test. Any questions with that? And that's if I'm still able to punch it through. If not, then I'll just keep getting bumped back. So that four days is our slush period. Does that make sense? I do want to make sure that I get those two days of review with you. So what I like to do now is everybody's got picked up at the back the um, paper for the dry lab, I hope, and some colored pencils. If you haven't, run back and get those really quickly because we are going to do that. I want you, once you get your colored pencils, to pick out your two favorite colors. Please do not choose black or white. Please do not choose black or white. Like I said, please do not choose black or white. Okay. Everybody pick their two favorite colors. I'm just going to pick two. Uh, one. I'll do green and pink to represent spring. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to color. It does, I know some of you are OCD. Don't worry about it. We're going to cut them out or you're just going to use them as reference. You don't have to stay within lines. Okay, so first two columns, color one of them. One of the colors you chose, I chose pink and green. So I'm just really quickly coloring that first two columns. Notice I did not stay in the lines, it's okay. And the second two columns with the other color, whatever it is. This is just to help us. You can later cut them out if you want to, or you can um, draw them, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now when we get to the electrodes right here below, we want to color the same amount of each color. So we've got two zinc here and two zinc here. So what I'm going to do is the first four I'm going to color in green and then I'm going to stop because I'm going to need two coppers of the other color and two hydrogens of the other color and then I'm going to go back to green. So I make sure I have two of each color of each electrode. Okay. Okay, I've not been very, you know, I just want to make sure I keep track of the colors. Now, out of your two colors, you can choose which one on the other side at the top. Do I need to wait for a minute? Is everybody caught up? 
I'll take a drink while you're waiting. Bring my drink over. Now, if you really like crayons instead of colored pencils, I do have crayons and you can use those. <clears throat> okay, at the top on the other side, it says Leo and Gert. You choose what are your two colors makes you say Gert and which one makes you say Leo. Leo to me is happy, so it's like green and Gert, sort of reddish or growly to me, so I'll put mine as pink, whatever colors you chose. Okay, just to help me remember. Okay, now I'm just going to set those two colors aside. I'm going to pick another color. It doesn't really matter what color for my voltage meter. I'm going to choose blue. And again, I'm just going to scribble them because I know I'm either going to cut them out or redraw them. It's just to help me know what color I chose. Okay, same thing with the generator. Choose a different color and just sort of color it in. And again, I'm not too worried about it. Now on the salt bridges, we're actually going to be drawing the salt bridges, so I'm just going to draw a salt bridge to just sort of help me remember what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to shade mine orange. You can choose whatever color you want. Now, at this point, you could choose to go get some scissors and be able to cut all these out, or you can draw them. I'm going to do one of these with you, and then I'm going to have you do the other three on your own. Once you're done with those three, you just turn them in, and you're done. Each battery is, that we make is worth 25 points. That'll give you a total of 100 points. Okay? So, you can rip that front page off, and it becomes your reference sheet. Okay? This first battery right here, and I'm going to zoom out so you can see all of it at once. This first battery tells me what is going to be in the battery right here. Okay, so nickel and, and cadmium. This is where I have to bring this into play, my standard potential reduction. I want to find nickel and cadmium. Now, I'm going to draw on mine. I would not draw on yours because we're going to be using a lot of different ones. But I'm going to draw on them so you can see where they are. So we're going to find nickel and cadmium. So looking down, I'm looking for nickel or cadmium. There's nickel right here. And cadmium's right here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom that in just a little bit so we can see what the numbers are. All right, so which one am I going to choose to have the equation the way it is on this chart? Do you remember? The what? Okay, why? Okay, whoever's on top gets the, the equation the way it is. So nickel gets the way the equation is. So over here on this one, I'm just going to put a little mark by this so that I know I'm going to do a different color. I know that that's the nickel that I want, and right next to it, I'm going to put what the charge is, which is a negative 0 0.25, so I know what it is. Then, that means for, whoops, sorry. I would just, just put it right there. It won't hurt you. And then on the other one is cadmium, and I'm just finding cadmium right here. It's point, negative 0.40. But cadmium is going to have to be in the GER column, so it's going to go backwards. That means what happens to the charge? Changes. So whatever's on the bottom will change sign. So instead of a negative 0.4, it's going to be a positive 0.4. So I'm going to put out here plus 0 0.40. Okay, and those are volts. Now I've got everything that I need now to and and you wouldn't have, I just, like I said, just bring it up here and put it right next to it rather than lining it with yellow or whatever. I would write that on there because we're going to be using that in just a second. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to here and zoom out again so we can see the whole thing. 
So the first thing is um, Leo lost electrons. So Leo's going to go on the left. Leo left. Okay, so over here on the left, I am going to say this is where I am oxidized. Oxidation. Okay, what was our thing with oxidation? An ox negative, right? So this is my anode, and this is the negative side of the battery. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, on the other side then, what, what does this side have to be? Positive. The positive, and it is the cathode, and it's the reduction, right? And how do we remember that? Cat. Red cat paws, right? So anox negative, red cat paws. <laughs> thanks. Okay, you're at now. Awesome, thanks. Okay, so now we've got this. We now know what goes on either side. So Leo, we said, was the nickel going to nickel plus two. So right here, I'm going to take and write that half reaction, which is nickel goes to nickel two plus plus two electrons. And what was my voltage? Negative 0 0.25. On the other side, we decided it was this one, so I'm going to take and put this half reaction right here. It was CD2 plus plus 2 electrons yields CD. And what was my voltage there? Zero, and it was a positive, right? 0 0.40. And these were both volts. Now, on this, I'm now going to pretend I used them because I can't use them again. Okay? Now, if you want to cut them out and paste them, that's okay. Or if you want to just do what I did, that's fine. Now, the total reaction, all we have to do is add these two together. So if I add a negative 0.25 and a 0.4, what am I going to get? A positive 0 0.15 volts. Okay, so now the hard part is done. Over here now, all I have to do is say, okay, in this half reaction, this is my cathode, and this half reaction was what? Oxidized or reduced? Oxidized. So whatever color I had for oxidized, I'm going to remember this is my that side. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly remind myself, and I'm going to color in this and color in this. And I could just take these and cut them out and paste them if I wanted to. On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing, but with the other color to remind me what goes on what side. Okay, so. Uh, Total reaction is, is white. I did not color it. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to start with nickel as a metal, right? And it's going to become nickel plus 2. Is this electrode going to get bigger or smaller? Smaller, because it's coming off of it. So I'm going to draw that it comes smaller. Over here, this is still my cadmium metal, right? I have cadmium in solution. Which way is it going here? The cadmium is coming out of solution and going onto the metal, so it's going to get bigger. So I'm going to show it getting bigger. Okay? Now, none of this is going to happen unless I do what to these two half reactions? I've got to connect them. So I'm going to take a wire to a voltmeter because they said it was a voltaic cell. Okay, since it's a voltaic cell, I'm going to have a voltmeter here. And I'm going to draw about a 0.15. So it's not real great voltage, but it's a little bit of voltage. And I'm going to connect that voltage meter to the other side. What's running through the wire? Electricity to go through the load on fire, right? 
And so we're going to put electrons going this way. Now, notice I have a little negative next to the E. Okay, so this right here was our salt bridge, right? And I decided my salt bridge was orange, so I'm going to color that orange. And my voltmeter was blue, so I'm going to grab that and color that blue. Okay, what went through the salt bridge? Does anybody remember from the song? And then it did go to salt bridge back to where? The anions. So if the anions go this way, what goes this way? The cations, good. That's what we need to label on all of the next three things. Now, here is um, uh, this bottom one underneath this shouldn't be voltaic. I want you to change that to electrolytic. Okay, this one is going to need the generator. This is when we plug our batteries into the plug. Okay, so it's going to have what? A positive or negative voltage when I finally finish with my total reaction? Negative voltage. It's the only one that will have a negative voltage. All the rest should have positive voltages. Okay, so this is the only one you use the generator on. Now you can cut the generator out or, and paste it or tape it on there if you don't want to try, try and draw the generator because it's sort of a pain in the butt to draw. But your choice, okay? Make sure you put your name on this, make sure you keep these two attached, and then turn them in. At the end of class, that's what you got for the rest of the class. Any questions? I will go ahead and just reduce this just a little bit and leave it up here so you can have something to look at. Just remember, you can just draw it if you want, but as you use them on this, I would go ahead and, whoops, Cross them out so you don't use them again, okay? Because you can't use them more than once. So we used a cadmium and a nickel, and we used a uh, cadmium and a nickel, and we used a voltmeter, and we did use one salt bridge, but the salt bridges are on all of them, and then we used this equation and this equation. So now I have to use those two equations for the other ones. Does that make sense? Always keep, my pink is always going to be on my right. My green is always going to be on my left. Where are we going to use the On the next page. Okay, yes. Yeah, the electrolytic, the bottom one gets to go the way it wants, and the top one has to flip because we want a negative voltage, right? We're forcing it the other way. Yes, sir. Generators only used once. Your other two voltmeters are for the other two other page. The salt bridges are on each of them. I just wanted to show you what they were. Any other questions? Good questions, by the way. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. The same color is going to be on the same side all the time, even if it's electrolytic. Okay, that's what I was trying to tell you. The green's always going to be on your left, which whatever you have for Leo, Leo is left. Okay, Leo left, grr, right, right, okay, all right, so I'm going to leave this up here, I want you to do this, it does go through and tell you each one of these things that you need to make sure you have on there to get your 25 points for each one, okay, so I just gave you 25, now you got to get the other 75, any other questions, if you have questions, please raise your hand or come and ask, okay, okay.